If you've ever wondered how ordinary people defended their homes during the chaos of World War II, without electricity, fancy locks or security cameras, this story will stop you in your tracks, because hidden in the rubble and rationing of the 1940s was a forgotten bit of home defence ingenuity. A homemade window alarm made entirely from trash. It was simple, cheap and almost invisible, but, you know, deadly effective at catching intruders off guard. And here's the shocking part. It still works just as well today, using the same scavenged materials you probably already have lying around your home or workshop. Let's unpack how a handful of wartime civilians turned scrap wire, nails and tin cans into a first alert system that rivaled military ingenuity, and how you can build and apply the same principle for your own home defence or off-grid security today. During World War II, civilians lived under constant threat of air raids, looting and invasion. Factory production went to the front lines, leaving ordinary people to fend for themselves with what little they had. There were no motion sensors or reinforced locks for the average person. So men and women across Britain, Germany and occupied Europe started crafting makeshift alarms to protect their families at night. These devices had to meet three criteria. They needed to be silent until triggered, made from salvage materials and easy to reset. The simplest and most effective used a principle as old as electricity itself, a broken circuit. When a door or window stayed shut, the circuit remained closed and current flowed quietly through. But when it opened, even slightly, the connection snapped, setting off a sound. In wartime, that sound might have been a clattering tin, a small bell, or even the metallic shriek of scrap metal being pulled apart. In modern terms, it was an analog motion sensor born from scarcity and fear. You didn't need a degree in engineering to make one of these, really. In fact, most were built from discarded radio parts, leftover wire, and, well, a few nails hammered into the window frame. Here's how it worked. A thin copper wire ran from one side of the window frame to the other, connected through a small battery and a tin can that acted as a sound chamber. When the window was forced open, the wire snapped or disconnected from a nail head, completing a secondary circuit that made the tin vibrate or the battery buzz through a salvage doorbell coil. Others relied purely on mechanical action, a weighted can hanging just inside the frame that would fall and rattle loudly if the window was disturbed. Let's translate that 1940s brilliance into modern terms. Suppose you live off-grid, or just want a silent backup alarm in case of power loss. You can recreate this exact World War II system with a roll of thin copper wire, a 9-volt battery, and a small buzzer or piezo speaker. Stretch the wire across your window frame and secure it with thumbtacks. Run it through a simple circuit where the wire's connection completes the current. Once the window opens, the wire breaks or moves off contact, activating the alarm. For a no-power setup, you can replicate the mechanical version. Tie a lightweight metal can filled with a few pebbles or screws to a string looped over the top of your window. When it's opened, gravity does the work. The can drops and rattles hard enough to wake anyone nearby. You've just built a functioning World War II-era alarm using literal trash, and it costs less than a dollar. I've personally tested variations of this during camping trips and property monitoring. 
It's surprisingly effective in places where electronic alarms would fail, damp forests, cabins, even barns. The moment a door shifts or a window creaks open, you get instant feedback. It's crude, but reliable, and that's what made it invaluable during the war. What made these alarms so powerful wasn't the noise itself, it was the psychology behind it. Burglars, saboteurs, and even desperate civilians depended on stealth. The sudden rattle of a tin alarm shattered that stealth instantly. In occupied towns, families who installed such devices often avoided deadly encounters simply because the intruder froze or fled at the sound. Today, the same psychology applies. The goal isn't to win a fight, it's to prevent one. A noisy deterrent still outperforms silence. And while modern tech offers sensors, cameras and smart locks, none of it works without power or maintenance. This Gwibiwo 2 trick works anywhere, anytime, with no dependency on software or electricity grids. Think about that. A 70-year-old survival tool outlasts every smart gadget we've built since. That's the difference between consumer convenience and true resilience. If you take one lesson from this forgotten alarm, it's not just the mechanism, it's the mentality. Wartime civilians didn't wait for governments or supply chains to rescue them. They took responsibility for their own security, learning to think like engineers under pressure. They looked at trash and saw potential. That's the foundation of every survivalist skill worth knowing today. If you've got an old radio, spare wire, or a couple of rusty cans sitting around, you've got everything you need to start experimenting. Teach it to your kids, your friends, your prepper group. History's value lies in its application, and this small piece of forgotten wartime innovation deserves to live again. If you found this guide valuable, share it. Because every time we rebuild one of these forgotten tools, we keep history alive in the most practical way possible. Subscribe to Warfield Survival for more deep dives into real wartime ingenuity. The kind that turns history into modern readiness. The old tricks still work, and the smart ones among us never stopped learning from them.